the vice president and the minister of roads and bridges pay a visit to jubabur highway to witness the laying of asphalt on the road and to assist the ongoing construction of the road by african resource corporation company speaking to the media the vice president honorable tabandengai said road constructions helps in nation development and economy of the country he obliged the work done by african resource corporation company for employing women in the field work uh, this is a good day i'm uh, satisfied and happy uh, of course you know these roads and the roads in south sudan that we are long this year but this year other projects and they are being financed through the oil uh, proceeds you will record the, uh, the directive of the president Jackson said some key targets that we uh, want uh, oil for uh, for such a development starting with roads and other projects uh, from this uh, forming it has the president that work is going on very well and uh, i hope very soon when the crash here is uh, on site it is ready for launching uh, we shall bring the president to come and do the launching uh, of this uh, crash and also the road come and see itself satisfied with the, the quality of work happening uh, the minister have given you a lot of information but you know this is one one going to from here up to up and up to ground then one national one and uh, there's another end too which is going to go also to back to the region of part of that uh, we know that we are having a lot of pressure from our MPs in the parliament our communities each other one of uh, we just want to see themselves in road i want to assure them that the president have directed us not to leave anybody behind no community will be left behind all the roads uh, either they are being contracted or uh, negotiation is handled is uh, happening so that companies are awarded uh, of this road whether this is the road going to western victoria uh, from juba to mundri to bolo big or uh, Juba Mundri, Maridi, Yambio, Tumbrawau, or the road going to Yei, Kaya, or the roads that are going from Rupek to Wau, to Bajok, to Awil, or Rumbek to Gatiu, all these roads are from Nasir, Joko, Joko, Nasir, Marakal, as the minister said, including the bridge of Marakal up to Barakadar. Maybe South Sudan does not know that the northern part of South Sudan are connected to Djibouti at a shorter distance than Mombasa. When you come from Djibouti to, to Awil, at a shorter distance uh, than coming from Mombasa to, to Awil, or even to Bantiwa. And you know also the port of Mombasa is very congested, serving many countries, not only us. Uh, the port of uh, Djibouti is only serving uh, uh, Ethiopia. And uh, maybe we shall be the third country to be served from that, uh, that port. Uh, so the Minister of Road also is working very hard to, uh, I think they are negotiating with the contractor uh, to start the road to uh, Joko. Joko is a historical place uh, to the SPLM operator, just like Uma. Uh, so uh, what I want to say is that there's nobody will be left behind this road. Uh, you will be connected on uh, The policy that we are pushing to the Minister of Road is that we want them to fast track uh, the construction of this road using Red Mara. We don't want uh, people to be cut off next year, Pachala to be cut off next year, Akobe to be cut off. Uh, leave alone the places of Barakadzian uh, Gambia so we have roads. But even the places that did not have roads before, uh, we shall make sure uh, we are directing the minister that we want the people of Akobe to have celebration in Akobe. Uh, during Christmas by road, they should go by road. Uh, people of Ibo, the same thing. Uh, all part of South Sudan. Uh, I know in Ethiopia, we live in Ethiopia and for 20 years there were no tarmac road in Ethiopia. We used to have Maram Road in Ethiopia, the whole of Ethiopia was connected uh, during Magis. But today Ethiopia is all tarmac road. We shall do the same. As the tarmac road going uh, slowly, slowly, we shall fast track the red Maram Road so that the economy uh, moves uh, faster. And, uh, uh, many of you, the public knows uh, the importance of roads. Uh, road uh, can help the country to achieve an economic growth uh, faster. And this is what we are doing. I believe uh, next year things will be different in South Sudan. 
road will bring economic growth, road also will bring security, and uh, road will bring unity of the people. Uh, it is the American highway that united the American and the United States of America. People. Roads also in South Sudan, and they have about, I think, about 11,000 kilometer uh, road connecting South Sudan. This 11,000 kilometers is what will connect South Sudanese in the real connection. That is what will make them one, uh, one people. Because you know what, unite people is interest. If you have economic and uh, uh, interest with your uh, neighbor, then come in the social uh, connection, and then come in uh, the bigger interest of the one, uh, one nation. I'm appealing from here uh, to my people in Central Equatorial and uh, that they should support the work of uh, this company, this special education of Maram. Uh, we know Maram is, 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 is a resource. And, uh, uh, there are royalties and benefits that will go to the communities. But it needs to be negotiated, not, not, not need to be done randomly. And you stop the work of the companies. Uh, in Upper Nile, there's no Maram. You can only bring Maram to Upper Nile from Bargazal or from Equatoria. But right now, in Upper Nile, there's oil. It's the oil from Upper Nile that come to Equatoria, come to Bargazal, because it's a national uh, wealth. People must share uh, their resources. God did not put the uh, maram in Nicotora just uh, without any meaning, or in Bangladesh without any meaning. It was a meaning. And God did not put oil in, in Upper Nile, especially the one discovered now, without a the reason. There's a reason for it. So uh, you people must share your resources. Yes, as the resource leave the locality, benefit must go to the locality. I want each community that uh, is aggrieved not to take the law into their own hand. They should go to the Minister of Rome address their issues. If they fail to address them, they come to me. If I fail, I will go to His Excellency, President Selma Kitniyadi, to address them. Uh, this is how we should handle our uh, We want this road to be uh, done as soon as possible because we want stability, we want the economy of the country to improve. We want our neighbors, uh, the international community, to also to have uh, uh, confidence in us. Uh, Uganda is well connected. They are our neighbors. They are our competitors in the market of uh, East Africa, the same thing to Kenya, the same thing to Tanzania and Rwanda. If we don't build our roads, we cannot be competitive in the market. We are sharing one uh, one interest, one mar one cake. We are dividing that one cake. It is good. We are advantage. We have oil in the East Africa community. It is only the oil of South Sudan which is developed now, maybe followed by Kenya and then Uganda also uh, coming soon. Uh, we should use this oil of resources as directed by Justice the President, Sir Kenyatta, for development so that we change the face of this uh, decision. Honorable Minister, I'm very happy I'm here today. And I hope that we, uh, we shall be seeing good things. We shall visit also other roads, uh, like the one of Maya, uh, Yei, uh, Yuba Yei, uh, the one of Mundari. And uh, this coming uh, dry season, the Minister and myself, we are not going to sit in Tupac. We, we shall be on the road, just like you, the engineers here. And I'm very happy I got the uh, young South Sudanese here, uh, ladies and men who are doing practical work. I was happy of uh, the lady who gave a statement that uh, she's doing the work that men uh, thought that it was only meant for, uh, for male. Palamba, uh, yeah, she's a Palamba. And she thought those days in South Sudan, they think that uh, it's only Banain. Oil for development is uh, taking shape. Uh, and yet, God looks a quiz alive. Bring the butter through, turn the board to butter. Nehanu, I know what I've done, I've done enough. As she has said, that will move a little better than the Gidam would develop. Meanwhile, the Minister of Roads and Bridges, Honorable Simon Mijok Mijak, said about 30 kilometers of the constructed work are done from Bilinyang to Mangala and 75% of the clearance. The minister further stated that Jubabar Gazal Highway construction will resume next week. The Minister of Roads and Bridges is privileged with the visit of His Excellency General Tawandengai, Vice President and the Chair of the Infrastructure Cluster. Uh, is accompanied by the whole ministerial cluster as well as technical cluster. The purpose of this visit is to respect the progress of road construction, uh, especially the uh, Nuba Mangala section. Uh, this road
started with bush clearance in February and it is ahead of time because the contract was signed and supposed to begin on the 1st of June uh, 2020. But I commend ARC for the uh, dedication to commit uh, some of the resources in Yuba Urban Road to begin uh, this road. They have also uh, implemented some directives for the client and the employer, which is the Ministry of Roads and Bridges, on behalf of the government of South Sudan, uh, to subcontract uh, the national uh, companies to do the uh, bush clearance. As I'm speaking now, the bush clearance has already reached a uh, small town. And the engineering work has already started uh, with the section over Mogali, uh, uh, with the laying of the asphalt, which I uh, inspect on the 8th of July uh, 2020. Uh, after all these four months, work has gone up to Mogali, 30 kilometers. I also appreciate uh, ARC commitments uh, to uh, work in good relation with community along the road and also one of the purpose of this visit is to inspect uh, the uh, community facilities sponsored by ARC beginning with the uh, Bayama administration of Vilnia uh, which is E plus and also at the health center of, uh, of Mogheri which was uh, constructed uh, in partnership with the community. They have also brought in the country heavy equipment, as you can see the background, it's a asphalt plant and the stone crusher is going to be serving this section as well as uh, other sections uh, beyond the uh, board. Uh, this is part of the Ministry of Roads and Bridges' commitment to implement the priority of the government and the public of South Sudan and that the policy of His Excellency the President of the Republic uh, to use oil proceeds uh, for all construction. So Your Excellency, the Vice President, with your visits, I can proudly say uh, the parade is ready for the launch. As we are here in Bilinyang, uh, uh, this place is going to serve the whole eastern bank of, uh, of, the, of the Nile from here up to uh, the Sobat Mouth. Uh, the same specification we are uh, recommending to our contractors, uh, including the stabilization uh, using aggregates, is going to be applied all over along the road. Uh, this road also is N1 from Nimuri up to uh, Rang. Uh, there is another junction from, that is A16 from uh, Bor Kuchala. Uh, or uh, Tibor Fischela, and then also A30 from Kobo, from Ayo to Wad Kobo, as well as A20 from Malakal, Nasir Yiko, and A10 from Salut up to Paga. All these are the connections along uh, the N1, uh, not also to forget uh, A75 from Makari down to This is the Eastern Bank, and as we are advocating, Your Excellency, in the Ministry, the code of this operation, we are doing it for development. The physical war we which we fought with our president and our uh, veteran and martyrs uh, was under the Pride uh, Star campaign. So the number can be two, uh, uh, three or four. Uh, this is looking bright, as I can see since uh, March this year, uh, heavy work has been done and it is progressing. Uh, to our public, uh, this road brings security, brings business, and uh, thank ARC for recruiting uh, the technical and drivers uh, from the area, especially our young generation, so that they take up uh, their responsibilities. I also thank the community of Ilinyang for the good relations with the contractor and who will use it as a model uh, uh, to 
build relations between the community because the ministry and the contractor cannot do it uh, alone. So I commend uh, these good relations to acquire construction material and the sites or the, the road reserve. I also thank our military, the SSPDF, the ground forces, the national security and uh, the Ministry of Interior, the police, for securing uh, the road. Uh, this is another message for those who are agitating uh, negatively forward about our army and the military. They are now fighting for the development of this country because they phase one of physical war. They have ended successfully with the independence. Now the most difficult part is uh, the construction of road that has been taken up by uh, our government. I also bring good news. Uh, the same ARC has sponsored uh, the maintenance of Torit Road and they have started the push And I hope in a short time they will be at our border. This is a strategy of the Ministry of Road to start the work, not beginning with the launching and then we wait for a number of uh, months or years to mobilize. We want to start and then uh, the launching become physically seen by our public. Uh, on the western side of the river, starting from Ye, uh, Ye Gaya, as I've been saying, we have some issues to settle on this uh, contract, but we are committed as I assured the the constituency earlier and his excellency the vice president also repeated the same as uh, the, the road to the uh, and we resume uh, very soon uh, perhaps uh, uh, possibly next week because the committee is always finalizing the addendum the contract. Uh, the road from Yuba to Mundri to Yambio is being handled. It's a big fight with uh, environment and the flooding, but uh, as you have seen in the media uh, this week, the work is going well, the team is going to divide the two, some go down to Meridi, the other one will go to uh, the Rumbe Road, uh, so that uh, all people are connected uh, before Christmas, everyone celebrates in the tiny states capital. The managing director of African Resource Corporation Company, Ki Wing, assured the public that the road construction is of high quality. And today, so I thanks to Your Excellency, the Vice President, and then Honorable Ministers from Ministry of Road and Bridges, and then the Honorable Minister for the Transport for visiting to us and then so come and witness and so our progress. And that project is, uh, so it, there is a, only just a juba to bore 200 kilometers. So <coughs> this one now, so we committed in the previous, within the three years time we can finish it, is a subject that load this. So until now, the progress is now 28.36% from the whole project. So the plan is going to be 2% have to be finished. But as Honorable Minister mentioned, so we the project in March. That's why we are achieving. So after that, so as committed, we try our best and then the quality uh, deliver to South Sudan and then so also we also we are happy because of the community around here all South Sudan is supporting us so there is a very so strength to us so we try our best to do to complete the roads on time the construction of Juba Bargazal highway was started in January this year the road is expected to be ready after three years from now. Reporting for Dolco Media, I am Jennifer James in Dubai.